such a road will never lead to destruction, but the angel that was escorting me was quiet, I didn't know why he was quiet so I asked him why are you quiet? But he did not say anything, I still thought there was something beautiful ahead of us, but the angel seems that there was something serious ahead, I then asked the angel, whose road is this? Who are the people who walk on this road the angel told me, it is the saints, his answer made my joy so great, so, I started jubilating because I saw myself as a saint, but when we went a little farther, I saw a group of people also wearing white like mine, the women had covered their hair, their dresses were long to the down part of their foot, but in front of them I saw a very big screen standing there, a man was called and he walked forward, everything concerning this man life was displayed on this screen, from the very day that he accepted Jesus as his personal saviour, when he said I confessed that I will walk with the Lord the remaining of my years, all his life was projected but a sad part of his life was screen, we were all seeing what the man has done, but the other thing that appeared on the screen was the blood of Jesus, when the man accepted the Lord as his Lord and saviour, the blood of Jesus came to wipe away all his past life, I mean every sin that he has ever committed in the past, the blood washed them away and a new life started all together as a result of his confession of Christ, while we were watching on the screen the man's life, we got to a point in his life that after he accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, he was so serious about his church attendance, he really lived a holy life, he paid his tithes, giving offering, he went to church regularly doing everything well, but the saddest part was that he was a kind of person that did not give in breathing space to his workers, from Monday to Sunday, in fact, he will let them work, whereas he would go to church, while he would do everything in the church and at home, have time to do all these things, he would never give a space, a breathing space, at all to his workers, therefore, they could not have time to worship the Lord as he was having time, immediately, I overheard a very powerful voice shouting, depart, you man of iniquity, you cannot enter my city, a very strong wind blew this man and hellfire welcomed him, this was his end, the dark spot of this man white garment of holiness was that he suppressed his workers right and not allowing them any breathing space at all, and making them work from Monday to Sunday not allowing them to go to church to serve the Lord, he was taken to hell, when I saw what happened I started shivering, so I thought where I am. Initially I thought I had gone to a place where I was going to enjoy myself. But look at what I am seeing. The first scene was so terrible, then I heard the voice calling another saint, in fact I could not see where the voice was coming from, all that I could hear is a voice calling names, the second person was called by the voice and this saint came forward. His life was also projected on the screen like the first person. I saw when he accepted Jesus and the blood of Jesus washed away all his past life. His new life in Christ started unfolding, I saw that he also served the Lord very nicely, but, it got to a point where when it was displayed on the big screen that this man was not faithful in paying his tithes, he was not faithful at all, in fact, he did that out of pains or groaning and complaining. He would just pay a little, he would never pay it faithfully. Another aspect of his life was that when he attended any social gathering such as funerals, such as weddings, parties and the rest, he just spends money lavishly, but in the church of God he was never ready to do that in tithes, not to talk about ordinary offering, all of a sudden, I heard the voice that said, depart, you who work iniquities. A very strong wind blew him and he was also taken to hellfire, another casualty, brethren. These people that I'm talking of were wearing white garments, I saw them as very bright saint, not knowing that there were some spots on their garment as a result of their lifestyles that was not pleasing to God, so as you are listening to us and you are watching this video, I want you to take a lesson from it so that you will change your life and repent now, if there is any spot somewhere in your garment that is in your righteousness, please repent now and ask the Lord for mercy the Lord will likely have mercy upon you and upon me, I then saw a woman, her previous lifestyle was display on the screen and the blood of Jesus came to wash away all her sin on the day that she accepted Jesus as her personal saviour, when she started serving the Lord, her lifestyle was so beautiful, very nice, she lived a very nice and holy life in Christ, 
she attended church very faithfully, she did everything very well until one day when she was in a public transport, when she got to a point that she wanted to get off the bus, she asked the driver's mate to get off at a particular stop but the bus controller failed to inform the driver, and she was taken a little farther from her junction, this woman could not control her temper. She insulted the driver's mate so badly while yet the driver mate was begging her for not being able to alight at the junction, but this woman wouldn't listen, she insulted the mate and went away, she did not ask the Lord God Almighty for mercy and forgiveness for what she did, since she died failing to confess this sin, this powerful voice said to her depart. You worker of iniquity. A very strong wind came and blew her into hellfire, this woman was not seen any longer, brethren. This is a very serious issue that we need to check ourselves that things will not overtake us on that day as well. The next person that came was a young lady whose lifestyle was shown on the screen. Her pagan lifestyle was projected until she accepted Jesus as her Lord and Savior, and the blood of Jesus on the day she accepted Jesus washed her past life and a new life in Christ began, in fact, it was very nice in the beginning. The girl was serving the Lord very nicely until a part was shown on the screen for us to see that this girl, a certain point in time, in her past life was having a boyfriend, so while she came into Christ and had newness of life, one day she reflects on her past life, she thought about her boyfriend. These thought about her former boyfriend was happening in her mind, because of these thought that she was entertaining her garment was stained, I heard the powerful voice that told her depart. You worker of iniquity. Then a strong wind came and this lady was blown into hellfire, that was the end of the life of this lady, may the Lord have mercy upon us brethren, may the Lord have mercy upon brethren so that we will not miss anything with our holiness with our righteousness, in fact, we will not possess any property of the devil in our life, because that little thing, that iota of sin or light spot that is not pleasing to the Lord may take you out of the great and glorious city into the city of madness, it is my prayer that we will all be careful about the life that we are living so on that day, we will never find ourselves wanting, there is something terrible ahead of us.